that's our new cam system. I'll show you a little later. Just stay tuned with the Daily V Blog. Fred, they said they missed you. They missed me? It's been four or five days since the Daily V Blog. Well, I've been not so great, so I'm feeling much better today, though. It's kind of really super cold outside, though, and it's really hot in here. It's not hot in here. Mm-hmm. Is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? I had this puppy going for about 15 hours now. It's blowing some good heat. Are you ready? Oh, you are? You're ready to wake up now? Come on. Let's go. Oh, we know you're ready to go. Gizzy is not getting out of bed today. She is not having the cold. I know. You're jealous. And you're Shakasaurus. You're just a Shakasaurus. Come over here. Stop. That's enough. Sit down on your butt. Sit down. Sit down. That's enough. Go pee pee. She's so fat. What are you? She's so fat it won't even fit her anymore. So we just went to Royal King. Got a good good deal on boots. It's the no, best boots I've ever owned in my life. And they're slip on boots. And I've never owned slip on boots. So we'll see how it works. I'm just sick of the laces coming on tied in boots. It drives me nuts. We spent almost three hours at Royal King for those boots for him to find. And now, now because we spent all that time at Royal King, we're going to go to Joanne's for a little bit. And then I, we have to hit Walmart for uh, milk. And then we're going home so the babies can eat. Not that they're starved or anything because they've had apples, they've had popcorn, they've had peanuts, they've had water, they've had... Pee peer. Ross has to pee. So here I am, guys. Walking over to the neighbors. Gonna play some pool. Got the work boots all dirty. <laughs> my new boots. You like my new boots? Check them out. Check them out, guys. You like that? It's cool because they're work boots, but yet, you go like this, and they're dress boots. They're work dress. I just don't want to drive over because it's right there, you know? There's a ton of uh, coyotes. Coyotes everywhere. Heard it, heard it got a pool game down here going on. Oh! This is Sheriff's apartment right now. <laughs> this is United North Carolina, Jack. What are you doing? Oh License and registration, I, I'm please. I'm not playing pool, I can tell you that. Who's winning? You let the old man beat you? I can't hit a shot to not Ross. You better start shooting. You did pretty good with me. You beat me last I'm time. Good. We have three jelly beans in our hands right now. The kids gave us. But the, here's the problem. They transferred seven times. They hit the floor a few times. And I now they want me to eat it. <laughs> Are you going to really eat it? Yeah, I'm going to eat it. ready? Eat, eat the... <laughs> what is it? Vomit? Yeah. Is it really? Both those are man. What are you doing? I'm preparing for the shot. You preparing to beat me? I don't think so, Jack. <laughs> Did you see that? Both those are man. He <laughs> didn't even move the ball about a foot. Boom. I'm solid. I already got a ball and it really just just it's all down. You wanna end it now or you wanna be embarrassed <laughs> at the end? It. Watch out, bulldozer man. Oh, that one. You didn't get anything. Oh oh I got your ball in! I put some grass seed out so the mud doesn't wash down on us. This is the next day, guys. Okay, this is a two terabyte hard drive DVR system. It's really cool. Um, I want to put something in just so I have a little bit more security. Not that I'm paranoid, just because it's, I sleep better at night. I can actually see everything from the RV, from my phone, from the tablet, Heather's, Heather's TV. I want to hook it up to the big screen TV and her tablet. There's This is pretty high up. Uh, DVR is kind of kind of hidden. Power supply, I put, lucky I put that adapter in. And I got the rock wires run up through there. I got a camera in here. I got a camera over there. And they're very, very hard to take down. It's also uploading to a cloud server. So I have a Dropbox account. It goes to Dropbox. So if anybody comes in here and steals anything or the DVR itself, it's already uploaded. So it's already uploaded. So I already got the person. 
which is pretty cool. So that's about it. Um, did we show you guys we painted this wall? I don't know if we showed you, but we painted all this wall and some of this floor here. This was a lot of work. We put primer on here, and it's like it's like plastic. It's so cool. It's not like the gritty, you know. It's 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 really cool. So it's an eight channel system, and what's cool is when we get the house. We can actually put uh, ten more on the house, or actually eleven or twelve more on the house, and we can have uh, see them in the same app. And they're pretty good. They're all aluminum, like a cast aluminum, so they're pretty tough. And uh, yeah, and what's cool is you loosen these two screws and you can swivel this thing all over the place and it's got a nice plug in I've been heat shrinking this plug so I plug it in with the other one I put heat shrink and I put liquid electrical tape around this connection when I connect them together I don't know what in the world is going on with this GoPro but it's a GoPro 5 and it keeps shutting off I bought new cards for it it just shut off all it just shuts off all of a sudden it's driving me nuts because I'm, I'm purchasing high end cards too they're like GoPro said it's the card it's not the card the camera keeps shutting off um, so I can blank that couch out. I'm pissed off now. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna start doing some wiring. I got pissed off at the camera and I can't even explain what the video can do. Uh, the battery, the, the, the camera stopped again, Fred. Yeah, that new car had stopped. There's something wrong with the camera. Well, I got the liquid electrical tape. I like to really make good con connections and waterproof, so I got that on my dollar store level. Okay, I put two more cameras up on this side. I got the wires coming through now. I had to go in the attic and run the wiring. I have the wiring and tape to here. I got two more cameras. One is one's gonna face this way, down the driveway. One's gonna face this way. I'm gonna turn it down here for now, but. Come on. I don't think I made the hole big enough. Finally got the spaghetti mess of wires. Finally. So I think when you buy pre-made ends like that, you gotta make a bigger hole. But it's still worth not, this is all nice sealed and everything, my other one's corroded. I mean, unless you're doing it every day and you need to run wire lengths. Another nice thing is you can run different lengths, like I run two 60 foot cords over there, I wound up in a ball. I only needed five feet, but I used a 60 feet, because the ends were pre-wired, so that kind of sucks. So, I don't know, I just still think it's easier, I don't really care. I'm going to go the easier way with the pre-made ends. I don't care what anybody says. Just together, guys. I like to use heat shrink. And you melt it. It's just better. What's cool about this power supply system is that as a pico fuse, they're called pico fuses for each one. So if a camera takes a hit or shorts, it's a pico fuse replace, which is really cool. It's got its own power. It's not like a cheap little laptop power supply where they all plug into each other. This has got its own power supply that locks. It's kind of cool. One thing I didn't account for, but I kind of accounted for, is the awning. When the awning's out, but there's nothing I can do about that. It's in the way. I can still see the street. It doesn't look that bad. I can still see the street, so. Everybody wants to know what the shop temperature is without heat. It is 51.8 degrees in there. Outside right now is 45. Inside is 73. So I can just sit here and look at everything from the desktop while I'm, while I'm editing video or doing whatever. It's right there. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is, um, what's tomorrow, Monday? We have something, Monday we have something really big going on. Hopefully the guy shows up and hopefully this gets done. Um, he's coming from Florida. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Legos and churros, you know you'll find us funny.